Hi guys, uh, it's Gigi here. Uh, today, uh, what we have here is a uh, Volkswagen Polo uh, 1.4 TDI uh, with uh, three cylinders engine, a small one. And the problem is it's uh, not starting properly, it's cranking a lot before the engine will start. Um, the guy was at some uh, workshop here and the workshop changed his the, his G40 sensor because it had an error on the G40 sensor. Uh, after changing the sensor the problem was the same. So let's see how, how this is going. We put it on. I'm filming with my phone so bear with me. Now we will try to start it. And it will eventually start. And it's running. Now, we will try to look at the VCDS. Uh, the camera is not focusing right. We go to the engine. Just I just want to read the, the error codes. I will stop the engine because else we cannot hear. Let's see what the error code says. Ha. Ah, okay. We'll go back. Let me try again. So now you can see the, the error code. I think it's not focusing right. Should be yes. Now you can see the error. Okay, so the workshop. Uh, he was at to change the, the sensor and the problem is still here. Now, in order to diagnose this, we will have to check a few, thing, a few, a few things. The first thing we have to check if the sensor is okay. And we know it's okay because it has been changed. Um, the sensor goes... Uh, you can see a connector for the for the sensor is this the black one three pins it's going into a thick cable loom and going all the way under the battery and the air filter to the engine control management it's here and this is in ADC 15 uh, P plus diesel so this sensor has been changed uh, as I am here I will show you how easy it is to change this sensor so you can see the wires going it. It's going here all the way and under the cover of the timing belt and it's positioned here as you can see. In order to change the sensor you will have to remove the, the timing belt cover. It's here, it's very easy, it's two uh, uh, plastic, uh, two, two metal yeah, connectors or clicks or something like that. I don't know exactly what the name is. Uh, and then you will have to remove a screw, a hex six millimeter allen key here is the screw i took it out you can see it it's standing right in that hole so as soon as you have that hole you can move a little bit the cover this way so the sensor is not um, sitting tight as you can see we go down here you will see there is a inspection or a visiting hole or what it's called so you have to take out the the screw, it's a 10 millimeter. Uh, let me see where I can get a good angle. Yeah, you can see the screw, it's a 10 millimeter. You pull it out, you pull it down, you disconnect this sensor here. We just pull it out. And I cannot do it with uh, one hand here, but you push the, um, the locking mechanism in and then you pull it out. Uh, I will have to stop filming for a bit just to, to do that because I cannot do it with, uh, with one hand. Oh yeah maybe I can actually if it's sitting in its, in its location. So press, pull it out, it's here. The connector is with three wires. Pin number one it's on the side with the flat part. 
that's one two and three and now you can actually take this out here yeah it's out sitting on a support here you can see it's place very nice and just put it in and now you can pull it out this way okay now um, in order to uh, to see if this it's actually working we will have to measure some some, uh, some values uh, the color of the cables it's uh, brown with the uh, with the blue stripe on the pin number three you can actually see the numbers on the on the connector three two one then we have a two which is a yellow and white and then number one uh, blue black okay according to the to the elsa manual uh, electrical uh, uh, diagram the pin uh, let's see here uh, let's see if we can focus contact one will go to the socket one pin two contact two will go to the socket one zero nine and then contact three will go to the socket one zero one these are on the ECU we will take it out in a minute and, and uh, see exactly if we, uh, we can see something but first I want to measure to see if I get any voltage on the on the wires uh, I should get uh, some 12 volts on, on pin 1 and then uh, also on the on the pin 3 so in order to measure it uh, I'll have to put ignition on okay let's go and put the ignition on Yeah, the ignition was on. Okay, <laughs> my mistake. And with a voltmeter, set it out to volts. We put connector for the ground. And I will put it directly onto the, the battery. It doesn't jump, no, it's okay. We will see. Now let's see pin one. Pin one. Twelve point three volts. That's okay. Pin number two is giving me two point something. It should be higher. I think it should be higher. We will see. There is no reference, so I don't know exactly how, it, how much it is. This one, and this is the ground, so this is uh, it's okay. The brown usually on the on the Volkswagen uh, cars, it's it's a brown wire. So we can see that I have 12 volts on the wire, but on the wire number two, I have uh, nothing. I have another schematics here from the Elsa. Let's try to see if we can focus. So this is the G40, the camshaft sensor, and pin number one, as we measured, it had 12 volts, it's going to F26, and F26 is connection to the diesel injection system wiring harness, uh, that should be 12 volts, uh, it's the relay 109 that gives power to this, uh, to this wire, and then I can see here, the number three and number two are going to the ECU. I don't know exactly how much they should measure, but uh, in order to be sure that they are okay, I will have to take out uh, the connectors from the ECU and measure the wiring from the connector, from here, from down the connector to the ECU, and uh, I have to be sure that there is no uh, uh, wire that is cut or interrupted or anything. So I will have to measure from pin, from these pins here, from the pin. Uh, three and uh, two up to the to the ECU. So three and two is this three and two you can see from the connector also. Yeah, three and two. One is going to the to the power relay. As this tells me to. Now I will have to take the ECU out. This is going to be a pain in the ass with one hand. So I will have to. Uh, one connector I can actually take it out and uh, this is giving me the two wires 
that I need actually and the other one it's also connected to the to the you can see the contact on number one it's also connected to the ECU giving me power but I can see that has 12 volts so that is okay so now I have to measure the continuity of these uh, two wires uh, in order to do that I will uh, as I lost my my small uh, uh, hairpin uh, probe I will have to use a piece of, of wire uh, very thin and I will have to put it inside the, the connector I, I forgot to take out to turn off the ignition not the problem nothing will happen and then let's stop the lights so now let's measure I will put this on hold a little bit and then I will get back to you after I uh, put the right I made my connection this is the poor man's connection you can do it home too and I have to uh, check the pins first we will take the 101 so this is 98 99 100 and 101 101 should be connected to the pin number three on my socket let's measure it I'm very happy to do it with one hand I put it and I can see I have 0 0.3 ohms that's good you can see if I put my my cable and I do it here it's exactly 0 0.2 ohms between the the probes now we have to take the other one that's the 109 the 109 it's just in on the top of this one so on the other one on the other side of the connector I'll just have to move it one row down And it's now moved, connected, and now we have to measure contact number two. Put it in. Well, here is our problem. I have 16.6 .6 mega ohms. So this wire is shot. Next step is to replace the wire. I will um, put a wire in parallel with, uh, with the existing one just to test. Uh, if my measurements are correct and then uh, so I, will I connected just um, before I connected the wire I uh, measured uh, the connection between the ECU and the cable after the connector because sometimes these uh, connectors uh, tend to break just after the after the um, uh, wire goes out of the connector see I put the wire in parallel uh, this is just this is just temporary to, to see if it's working and then I connected to the pin there at the ECU and now uh, let's see if it will uh, start as I thought I go in ignition on, preheating on silence now there you have it problem solved just to be sure I will go back to the BCDS and erase the error I didn't hear the light but yeah well okay yes. I disconnected the whole cable that's why all the error codes came. Now we try to start it. Start right away. Stop. Put ignition on. We read the codes. Have to reconnect now because the no code found. So we are good to go. I will have to take out the probably I will have to take out the eye filter and the battery and pull the wire nicely down here and to its place. So I think we are done for today. 
the car is running. I'm happy, customer is happy. See you guys.